Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to be talking about the Real Gone Music label. They are one of our finest reissue labels in America, putting a lot of love into their packaging, the sound, just everything. There's so much to love on this label. You know, you can find soul, country, rock, Christmas, just, just whatever. And they've also branched into vinyl now. I don't buy vinyl, so I'm just going to show you some CDs. And this is just some of the CDs from their catalog. And it just shows you all the amazing things that they do. So here's just a random pile that I pulled. Gordon Lightfoot, the complete singles 1970 to 80. It's a two CD set. So this goes way beyond Gord's Gold, which is fantastic. The Rascals, the complete singles A and B's. This has mono single versions and uh, some of the later singles were in stereo. Eddie Arnold, complete original number one hits. That is just jam packed full of songs from the country great. Here's another one from Eddie Arnold. This is absolutely stellar. It's the 1970 Lee Hazelwood Chet Atkins Sessions. And that is jam packed full of great stuff. Ronnie Dove, the complete original chart hits. There's great teen pop, crooner pop, and especially some country pop on there. Uh, a lot of great singles jam packed onto one disc. Ronnie Dove. Survivor, the definitive collection. Uh, this is fantastic if you love AOR. The band was far more than Eye of the Tiger. Look, I'm even tired of Eye of the Tiger. But Caught in the Game and High on You and so much through their catalog. Come On In Love by JD. This is a Barry White produced album, I believe, but it's just a great soul album. The Surf Punks, Locals Only. This actually does feature two bonus tracks. I believe this was their final studio album. Robert Burns and Ron Dexter, The Best of Golden Voyage. If you love sort of new agey things with, with some pretty keyboards mixed in with birds chirping and brooks a-bubbling, then this is a, a fantastic release. It's great to put on in the background. It's great to uh, fall asleep to. Nice melodies. Very nice, relaxing album. Linda Martell. This is a great 60s country album. Charlie Pride was... I think the only African-American country star in the 60s. She should have been just as popular. Great voice, great collection of songs. Summer Holiday by Jimmy Griffin. This is great sort of cheesy teen pop uh, by the future member of Bread. That's right. This is the very same James Griffin who was in Bread. And uh, this is just a great, great collection of pop songs. Margaret Whiting. This actually features two separate CDs in one handy package. And this, she's absolutely fascinating because she was a big band singer in the 40s and she had some kind of resurgence in the 60s. So she was recording like country pop. And a lot of this is just fantastic. This features three albums. Uh, it features one of her albums with bonus tracks and then two other albums on another disc. And it's a really great collection. You can get those separately or in this two CD package. Hubba Hubba, Michelle Phillips. Yes, the one from the Mamas and the Papas. Her solo album, Victim of Romance. This actually features a few songs written by Moon Martin, who recently passed away. This is a very pop album at times and a very kind of new wave album. I don't think that they really knew what they wanted when they were putting the album together. If they had stuck with the more Moon Martin, new wavy stuff, this album probably would have been successful. But it's still a fine album, and this does have bonus tracks. And heck, it's Michelle Phillips. Phillips. Two Willie Hutch albums. These are both just great, soulful, funky, fun albums. Great production, great songs, great grooves. And if you haven't heard Willie Hutch, you know what? You might as well start here. And I got a handful of Johnny Mathis as well. Uh, Johnny Mathis, just one of the great crooners. And I'm slowly building my Johnny Mathis collection. He may not replace Andy Williams as my ultimate vocalist but I really love these artists that moved with the times moved from the 50s and 60s doing standards and you know American songbook type stuff but when the 70s came along they started embracing rock and roll and soul and pop and that's what Johnny Mathis did that's what Andy Williams did even on his you know 70s and 80s 90s albums Johnny Mathis still this wonderful voice and especially on his Christmas stuff, but I'll talk about his Christmas stuff in a different video. Anyway, that's it for this stack of real gone music. I cannot endorse this label enough. So much great stuff. If you're searching for hit albums by familiar artists, you're going to find a lot of great reissues there. But also, if you're searching for something obscure, read the descriptions. See, that's my problem. I'm always reading and always learning even about the stuff I missed first time around I have this desire to just hear as much music as I possibly can 
Well, that's it. I appreciate you sitting around and allowing me to chat about my latest Real Gone Music arrivals. I hope they inspire you to go to the label and check some of the stuff out. And until the next time, remember me, I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.